Hello everyone, Air here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to deal with drive impact and burnout. Usually, there's four different approaches during burnout to land your drive impact. It's usually pretty obvious, especially in the corner, because they, that this character wants to land a stun. So during burnout, if you get wall splat, you get a stun, which allows you to extend your combo. One of the most obvious one would be a raw drive impact. Basically, when you're probably close to the corner, they'll just use it out of nowhere. Just like that, okay? That's the first one. The second one would be off of a light attack. So it can be something like... Something like that. Third one would be off of medium. So sometimes they can do probably two normals. To hit confirm and then last but not least off of a heavy attack which usually becomes an unblockable because you really can't move and you're pretty much forced to take it okay so let's talk about how to deal with the first one which is the raw one so a raw one when it's close enough you can react to it with a throw but if it's too far you cannot throw it That. That's too far and you cannot throw it. So it's really close, even if they're really close to the corner. Just chill axe and wait for it. But if it's really far, get full punish. Now we'll talk about the light poke string into a drive impact. It's really hard to react, so what you're going to do is, you're reacting to the jab, the light attack, but not the drive impact. For example, try to grab it, it works. I'm mashing jab right here, because I'm seeing that I'm expecting a drive impact to come. So that's one way. You can always jump in as well. Now the medium punch. Same thing, you can grab it. And you can also jump it. It also depends on the character's um, plus frame on their medium attack. Some you probably cannot grab. And now we'll talk about the heavy one. The heavy one. The block stun is very long, which does not allow you to jump nor grab. The match and grab there doesn't work. Like that again. So it's pretty much an unblockable. And now I try to jump. Yeah, I'm holding up. Doesn't work. So how you deal with it is that you can only super. So whatever super gives you invisibility, that's your only option. But however, this makes it easier other than a jab or a medium. It gives you a little bit more time to do your motion because the block stun is much longer. More time. Kind of see it and then do it. But when it comes to jab or medium, I have to do it a little bit earlier. So it's less scary if you can see it coming. Yeah, I'm doing it really late. Okay, so last but not least, meaty, meaty wake up DI. So for example, this combo here is a meaty DI. Okay, so we'll do this again. I'm gonna try and grab on wake up. Does not work. Can't jump as well. So what you're gonna do is, again, Super is your only option, but you can kind of look for it. Sometimes it might be obvious, but of course, it, it might be hard to, you know, look for so many things because you're trying to tech throw and everything, but... Anyways, these are ways that you can deal with uh, drive impact during burnout. So to summarize the video, pretty much, if you see a light attack, you can always mash a jab or jump. Same goes with medium, but then when it comes to heavy, you will have to do super. 
and also do that for me as well.